All right, so here we go. I have a Pluto SDR sitting here, plugged in via USB uh, to a laptop with DragonOS Focal X. You can see that SDR++ is open. It's actually the latest nightly build. I'm not sure about the date up there on the top, or why that's like that. But what I'm looking at is um, deck technology, uh, basically in the uh, in the spectrum here in the FFT and the waterfall. Uh, just was kind of curious uh, what it what it looked like. I've I've ran uh, what I'm I'm getting to here in a second GR deck before, but I, I don't think I actually took the time to just look and see the activity in the spectrum here. And in this case, with about 19 yeah 1920 to 1930 uh, megahertz, uh, that's pretty much what's allocated to the U.S. I don't know if it is anywhere else. I'm sure it's a uh, uh, different to maybe in the 1800 or so range uh, over in Europe or elsewhere. But uh, we're going to jump over and take a look at setting up uh, GR deck again with the Ant SDR E200. I'm going to say that this traffic, uh, I, I have uh, devices that have unencrypted uh, comms uh, or communicate or uh, un unencrypted uh, deck and. Uh, yeah, of course, with GR Deck, you can you can decode and you can get uh, you know the audio, uh, basically. Uh, in this case, that's not going to happen. So, spoiler alert: uh, I'm just mainly interested in showing uh, how to set up the Ant SDR E200 with GR Deck. So let's let's stop SDR plus plus. We'll open up a terminal uh, or a window here, and I'm going to go into user source GR Deck two. Normally it's examples, but I'm going to go into GRC in this case to find the uh, flow graphs that are available here. First, we're going to open the Hacker F1, and I'll explain why here. Uh, well, maybe. Let's see. We're going to, let's see. I'm mainly wanting to copy and paste the options and labels here because it has expanded uh, frequencies. You can see. 2018, uh, 20, you know, that's like uh, megahertz there or 2.018 uh, gigahertz. Let me think. Uh, and, the, and the labels. I need that so that I can add it. We'll open up another window here. User source GR deck 2, GRC. I think it's called, yeah. So we're just going to pretend that this deck 2 underscore B200 is actually. We'll just say E200. And the expanded uh, frequencies and ability to select them was not added to this flow graph. So let's take care of that right away. That way when we're running the flow graph, we can actually pick the frequencies that we want and just hit apply. Okay, you should have no warnings. Really want to get back into GNU Radio uh, more. It's obviously a big part of uh, Dragon OS. It is 3.10, and I'll just go ahead and say it's 3.10.4. I know there's like a newer GNU radio, but this is what I had uh, compiled, and um, yeah, eventually maybe I'll recompile everything uh, for something, you know, maybe a version or two newer, but this has been really working well uh, for me. So the other thing we're going to change is the USRP source, and that is down here under antenna and I'll explain the reason why uh, the E200 uh, actually does have another TX and RX inside the case I just don't have that you know I don't have the case modified and routed out I only have an antenna on the external RX of the E200 and that should map to the TX RX here at least in this USRP source so we'll save that then change anything else also, if you want to understand uh, like what all um, you know is involved with the deck two, the out of tree module here, you can come over to the right hand side and just look what was added when uh, I had built and put that into Dragon OS. I'm not going to change anything else. Uh, I will say uh, the audio may get loud when I run this uh, on the encrypted channels. We'll save it onto the desktop because we are not root and we opened it in user source. So we'll just save the flow graph or, or create a folder where however you want to keep the organization going. 
And then when you run it, you, know, you should see no errors in the bottom left here. So we know the ant SDR is good. We got our block open here, which really isn't doing much of anything. Uh, so what do we do? Well, let's raise the gain. And I know that uh, about channel 24 or so starts uh, mapping to the frequencies that we saw in SDR++. And there we go. We can see, hey, GR deck is looking. It's um, demodulating, you know, basically showing us that there is deck activity there. And if you read up on GR deck, you would know uh, that a V next to one of these uh, parts so you can see the parts here, 0 through 8, um, that corresponds to these numbers here, would have a V next to it. Uh, in this case, probably not going to see much of anything, but I'll just demonstrate. Okay, so what does that look like if there is voice? Well, let me make some voice here. We're not going to be able to decode it, obviously, uh, but we will see that, hey, I've got some uh, voice traffic here. There you go. Just static right now. But if you, uh, I'm going to stop that uh, voice. But uh, if you look at some of the other videos I did on GR Deck with uh, unencrypted, you'll see uh, what uh, this is able to do. So it's kind of short because uh, my uh, battery is about to die. But there you go. They're setting up uh, GR Deck with the uh, Ant SDR E200. Hopefully that helps.